Now, I have a flight test uh, Spitfire here. If you've been flying yours a lot like I have, your front wing box is probably starting to look a little bit like mine. Um, all taped together, hot, more hot glue than foam probably at this point. Um, the pins are starting to pull away. Uh, a lot of bad crashes. Well, not bad crashes, but a lot of crashes. Uh, some of them have been bad. And wing ends, um, just hitting hard and tall, taller grass than I should have. And that's kind of what you end up with. Um, so what I did is I started thinking about what I could do to reinforce that. So what I did was I cut a couple pieces out of um, just uh, eighth inch uh, birch ply and I cut a little insert for them to space them, the exact right set the spacing. So this will actually sit inside that wing box area and you can run your barbecue skewer right through it, right through here. It'll take the place of this whole thing, glue this in place, that'll reinforce the whole front end of the, the whole front end of the plane where it takes most of its force and uh, make the whole area a little bit stronger up here. Um, it just kind of sits in here and you can see it'll sit over top of the wing, takes up that whole area. Oh, that's not very good. It kind of sits in there, takes up that whole area. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put that in tonight. I'm going to do two, probably two videos. The first one's going to be how to put it in on an um, existing plane. And the second one's going to be how to put it in in um, a brand new build. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out all this old stuff because you don't need to watch me cut my fingers doing it. And uh, I'll turn the video back on when I have that all cut out. And I'm ready to start putting more in. Start putting the new piece in. Okay, I got the old uh, wing box all out of the way. Um, got it all cut out. Um, took a little sanding block down here just to kind of get knocked down the bigger bigger chunks. Just grab your sanding block and just right inside there and just knock off the big chunks and get it mostly level in there. Um, then before we glue anything, before we do any gluing at all, we want to make sure everything sets is fits in. So we're going to do a test fit. So take your uh, take your front wing box and, like I said, it's not glued together yet. Put it together, and it should be pretty tight fit. And then we're going to test fit that in here. Um, make sure it fits nice, and it should line up with right along the back here. Um, follow the wing box contour, and then the other side should just pinch in there and fix one fit right into the wing box contour. Kind of adjust it a little bit if you need to. Now you can see up here in the front, the wood kind of sits pretty close to the front. That reinforces that front end too. Because when you land, you take a lot of force up in this up in this area right here. So I, I made it a little bit longer. I extended it a little bit so you could it would take that force. And then you can see in there you got enough room right here to um, still slide the power pod out. Um, I didn't want to keep the power pod stuck in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue this together. And um, what I use is, I just use a little CA glue. Um, and it's pretty tight fit anyways. So what I do is take a little CA, I'll hold, keep one side in there, put a little drop there, a little drop there, and then I just run some along each side. Might be too much, but not the end of the world. And glue it on. Put it up snug, make sure it's square. Make sure you don't get any of your fingers so you, so you don't become a permanent part of the model. Let that side, let's do the other side. There's no up or down to this, just make sure that the wing box goes in, they both go on the same way. And there's no right or left on this either. Just goes on one way or another. There you go, I almost glued my finger to it. 
So, the next thing we're going to do is, um, when I cut these, I cut them so this hole's a little undersized. And I, I just use it as mainly an alignment point. Um, depending, because there's so many size barbecue skewers out there, I didn't want to size it for one specific one. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get a drill out, and you're going to have to find out what drill bit works with the barbecue skewer you have. And basically, all I did was line it up like that, just kind of feel. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be close. Just make sure that the, the drill bit's there, and it's the right size. And this one's really close to what I need. Um, I'm using a little bit bar bigger barbecue skewer. Um, the one it came with, and this is from one of the laser cut kits. The one it came with was great, and you see it lasted a long time, but it was starting to wear. Um, probably mainly because of my flying ability, although, I don't know, it is only a cheap barbecue skewer. So, I got a little beefier one, um, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to drill this out, I'm going to drill out the holes, and it's just mainly, you just use it as a pilot, the, the current hole is a pilot hole. Just drill through one side, then drill through the other, and then we'll be ready to install this. Okay, now I got my hole drilled. Um, I got my holes drilled out, and you can see the uh, barbecue skewer goes through there. fits kind of nice. It's a little bit, it's not snug. You can still turn it, but it doesn't move side to side, so it looks like I picked the right drill bit. Um, I'm not going to say what size drill bit it is because it really doesn't matter because every barbecue skewer is just a little different in size, so you might just have to go through your bit set and figure out which one works for you. Now, I'm going to put this in my plane. Um, and we're going to do a test fit once again. And here's how I typically do it. I will put this in, line it up where I think it is. And I'll put the skewer through, find the hole, which is sometimes easier said than done. I do have some flexibility with the foam board to move it around a little bit. And there, that looks like approximately where the holes used to be at one time I guess um, like I said it's crashed a couple times so might be off here or there um, you can see it's a little, my foam's a little flimsy here too where it's just kind of been um, crashed I guess um, now before I start working I'm gonna get this uh, electrical plug out of the way just use a little piece of scotch tape and just kind of tape it out of the way just so it's not getting in your way while you're working. Now, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could hot glue it in, you could use Gorilla Glue, um, that works pretty well too. I'm just going to use hot glue because I have that here um, and it works well and that's what we have on most of the plane, most of the rest of the plane. So, um, you do have some flexibility when you're working with the foam. I can actually pull it out so I can, so I can um, put the hot glue in there and you can do one side at a time. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, when you do do the other side, it'll pull it up, pull it up close, pull it up tight, and make it as tight as it was before. It's the exact measurements um, that it that it would have been before down there in that lower wing box area. So make sure everything lines up, and when that's all lined up, um, get your hot glue out and uh, start putting some glue on. Okay. Uh, we're going to glue this in now. I uh, still got the skewer in there. Um, what I usually do is I just kind of pull this bottom part apart a little bit. It'll it'll stretch. I mean, it's foam board. And do one side at a time. And basically just put a healthy, healthy uh, amount of glue in between your board and the wood. Don't try not to use too much, it does squeeze all over the place, so and you get a couple seconds to line it up, and then I just pinch those two together, make sure the back's lined up nicely in the front, and the back's going to line up right along the existing groove for the wing, and then you just pinch that together good, and we're going to hold that till it dries, pinch it all the way up, I need a little more glue up there. Squeeze a little more in there. Pinch it together. 
take your uh, scrap piece of foam, just kind of drag that off, make a nice little seal there, seal that all up. Pinch it nice and tight. And it's feeling pretty good. Let's do the other side. Go back, fill it up. And on these flight test planes, uh, the Spitfire, so I built a BF 109. Um, I found that um, this is one of the weak spots on them. Um, it's just inherently. Seems to be a problem with them. Squeeze them together. Squeeze it together. And now you can pretty much hold both sides because you got the brace right here, kind of making everything, holding everything for you. Take your scrap piece, kind of clear that all down. And I've, this side's kind of been built up by uh, glue, anyways, trying to keep the wing box in place. And a couple more seconds, I think. And there you go. Got a wing box that's stronger than uh, than stock. Um, you can hot glue in your um, your uh, barbecue skewer, or you can uh, put a little CA glue on the inside, and that's typically what I do. I just put a put a dab of CA glue right in here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Just right in there. Just right where it meets the wood. And that's about it. And the wing box is prepared. See, it's uh, it strengthens up this whole front end. Um, it's the uh, exact shape it was before. So nothing's really changed in the way it, way it looks on the outside. It doesn't spread out wider or anything. Um, and it does a really good job holding that holding that front wing box in, it's a lot harder to tear out than uh, than the foam board was. So the last thing that's left to do is glue in the, the spar, or the, um, glue this in, put a dab in here, let that soak in, and dab in here. When that sets up, you're all set. Just cut these down to size and, and you will have a completely repaired wing box. And there you go. It's a completed repair on the wing box. You got the wings back in, um, nice and tight. I mean, Good luck ripping that out. So thanks a lot and um, thanks for watching my video.